Hi Arthur, to edit your site, here's what you'll do. You'll go to gbblive.com slash wp-admin and that will take you to a login screen and you'll log in using the username and password I gave you in the email. Um, and when you log in, it will take you to a page that looks somewhat like this. So you'll click on pages and then you'll click on home or live dates for the show. So if we're going to edit the short list, let's look at the home page. So you can ignore all this at the top, but what you'll do is you'll scroll all the way down to where it says the short list and then it shows toggles. So always to edit, you'll click on this little pencil button right here. So you'll click that, and then again to edit, you'll click the pencils right here. You can change the names to whatever you want, and you can copy and paste the text from here. So right here, you'll see this is for a map, all of this, all of this chunk of code. So in order to change the map address, you'll see right here, there's, it says fusion map address equals, and then in quotes, it says a number and a street. That's all you need to do to change the map address. And then you'll scroll all the way down to pass where it says fusion text. And this is where you can place all your text. And then most important is to leave all of this information right here, all of that, that needs to stay. And then when you're finished, hit save and hit save again to close out. And that brings you to this screen. And then always make sure to hit this big update button right here. If you don't do this, none of your changes will save. Finally, to duplicate an event, you'll edit this and you can either add a toggle or if you want to duplicate this one, for instance, you just hit this button right here and it duplicates it and this button right here deletes it. So what I recommend doing to make things easier for you is when you're editing an event, you'll click on this edit button and then you'll go back to your pages list and open up your live dates page. So this page has the full list. So when you look at the full list, what you can actually do is, again, remember, look for toggles, then click the pencil to open. What you can do is you can actually copy all of this information from the start all the way down past here. Copy all of this, go back to your home page, and paste it all in right there. And then you'll be left with the same thing. And most important, if you want to change out the title, it goes right here. And then, of course, up at the top, update. So on your live shows page, you'll look for where it says upcoming shows, align, and then here, toggle, click the pencil, click the pencil to edit, or click this button right here, the little sheet with the plus sign, to duplicate. Again, hit save always, and then all the way up to the top, and hit update. If you don't update, it doesn't save, you'll see this little spinning thing and then the page will refresh. Um, up at the top, it will tell you if there was any sort of error, but there shouldn't be an error, it should be just fine. Um, if you ever want to change or add to the set list, what you'll do is you'll go back to the pages and you'll hit edit. And remember, in order to get to pages, all you have to do is click this button right here.
So you'll hit edit on the music. You will scroll down again. So you'll scroll down and down and down. Pass all those YouTube links. Pass the SoundCloud to this part that says view set list. So the important thing is to leave this button. Don't touch anything with that button. What you want to touch is this thing called a modal. So the modal, when you open it, it says the name of the modal. Don't change this ever. You can change this modal heading, but if you change this, it will break the link. So you can just change the modal heading. Don't change any of these color settings or anything like that. But then all you have to do is paste it in here. So if you want to edit the spacing, you can just put a couple extra breaks in here. We'll just space those out a little bit more. And then we will hit save and again go all the way up to the top and hit update. And that updated. So that is how you update everything. Um, and remember that when you're on your set list, you want to update the modal, not the button. So this is a no, this is a yes. And then pencil, don't change this, change this. And then change whatever in here that you want. Um, sometimes it might not take the formatting you put in with your keys like this. And if that's the case, just let me know and I'll fix it. Let me know if you have any more questions and I will talk to you soon. Thanks.